It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> la, 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 la. Every year for how long is it now? Five years. Five years. Every year for five years now, these guys turn up the week before Christmas with their Christmas sweaters on. They sit in the audience and stare at me in a passive-aggressive fashion <laughs> until I put them on the show. Oh. But you know what's the weird thing is, like, they turn up uh, every year. The sweater guys turn up. The regulars, clockwork. But this year they brought sweater girlfriends. <laughs> And I'm like, well, the days of the sweater guys are doomed. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys all live in the same house? Nope. Yes. <laughs> nope, yes. Who here is the meth supplier? <laughs> These are all my children. <laughs> Back, everybody. Uh, wait for the folks. Do you know how it's getting close to Christmas? Look, Secretariat has grown antlers and a red nose. Oh, yeah, Christmas is coming. I can still remember being a kid telling Santa all the stuff I wanted at Christmas. It didn't really matter. I got the same thing every year. Potato and a carton of cigarettes. <laughs> and now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. The year was 1972. I decided to make my way to the North Pole to finally meet Santa Claus so I could punch him in the nuts for all the crap he gave me in 1971. <laughs> You need the, the Christmas tree? Sorry, it's not lit up. Hold on. Okay, uh, so this is my Christmas family uh, tradition. We do something called the lotto tree. So if you're ever like going to like a secret Santa or like something like this, this is what we give. Um, you give out lotto I mean, tickets? It's a lotto. Well, instead of a sticker collection as a kid, I had something called the Lottery Museum, which was just like a weird brown plastic binder that said Lottery Museum, and it was just all dead tickets. <laughs> you really should be in therapy, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, and what, you, you put lottery much. tickets on the tree? And then you put but they're lottery expired tickets. lottery tickets. No, no, they're like new scratchers. There's like awesome, yeah. And then, and then the, all the fancy, like big time, like five dollar scratchers would go like in a cup in the middle of the table. And then. Did you grow up in a trailer? <laughs> <laughs> I grew up. I grew up in a trailer, and now I live in a two, a two, a two, a up, two up thing. Yeah. Two up right. thing. Well, thanks for doing that. So do you still want to? Do, do you want to do the the gum uh, gum style dance and I get out of here? Do, yeah, let's do it. All right, gum gum style dance and Sarah Chalk. There's only one week left to Christmas, everybody. <laughs> I'm very excited. There's nobody here but you and me, so and the audience machine. So I, <laughs> so I thought I would look and see what the secret Santa got me for uh, Christmas by peeking into my present, by looking into my box. <laughs> I sometimes feel when I come out here and I, <laughs> the horse's antlers <laughs> fell off. <laughs> And stop shaking your head, you mad bastard! <laughs> you trying to shake them up here? Hold on then. Oh, come here. I have to do everything around here myself. There. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you owing? Why are you owing? Here, let me fix it. There you are. 
usually recommend shows on ABC, but uh, there was an interesting one earlier tonight, a show about uh, commercialization and how it can affect young people and make them depressed. It's called A Charlie Brown Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Stars all your favourite Peanuts characters, Charlie Brown, Lucy, Linus, Snoopy, Pecky, Blinky, Dum Dum, Flip Flop and Poo Poo, all of them. <laughs> Dum Dum, Flip Flop and Poo Poo, there, there. <laughs> Anyway, the Charlie Brown Christmas special was made in 1965, and it still holds up. I don't know why, though, that the ABC uh, tried to update it. They wanted it to appeal to a modern audience. Jerks. Do we have a pi <laughs> That's right, jerks. Do we have a picture from the Charlie Brown special tonight? Look, they've updated it with all the other characters. Yeah. You get the beaver, the honey boo boo's there. Look, look at this. Snooky's there. That's me as the creepy kid in the corner. Who's that one above me? Is that the North Korean dictator or the Gangnam Style guy? And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. Here's my favourite excerpt from The Night Before Christmas. Away through the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter and smoked me some ash. <laughs> have you been here 44 times? Who hurt you? What went wrong in your life? I don't know if we have that kind of time. I don't know. I just, I just really like it here. I like you. I like that. <laughs> I, like, I like Chunky. I like Michael. I think everyone is interesting. So you hate the horse? Uh, no, I like the horse. <laughs> uh, why have you been here 44 times? Who hurt you? What went wrong in your life? I don't know if we have that kind of time. I don't know, I just, I just really like it. Here, I like you, I like that. <laughs> I, like, I like Chunky, I like Michael. I think everyone is interesting. So you hate the horse? <laughs> uh, no, I like the horse. <laughs> Mr. Scrooge has various celebrities, Jeff. Oh, hell yeah. All right then, all right. Um, I'll do Sean Connery as Mr. Scrooge. Yeah, this is good, yeah. You'll have to work on Christmas Day, Bob Cratchit. <laughs> That's good. All right. All right. Who are you going to do? That's good. All right. That's good. All right. Uh, I'll do uh, uh, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman and Chris Scrooge. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but your ass is going to work today. There you go. All right. Yeah. 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 Bill Clinton as Mr. Scrooge. Bill Clinton as Mr. Scrooge, yes. I'd like to stuff bird. <laughs> and give you a little present. <laughs> All right, who you got? Uh, let's see, uh, oh, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson as uh, right. Mr. Scrooge. Here we go, Liam Neeson. Quickly, there's no time. Get out of my house, ghost. Quickly, quickly. There's no time. All right, that's enough. Now. And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. Christmas 1968, I decided to surprise my kids by coming down the chimney dressed as Santa Claus. The chute got caught in something and ripped completely off, and there I was, completely nude, in front of a terrified family. And that's when I realised I wasn't even in my own house. A Christmas miracle! I'm going to try and get the rhino horn, all right? You, you guys ready? Jeff? Yeah, yeah here all we right, go. All right, secretary, all right, ready? If I don't get it, you have to run up and, and fetch it, right? What? Oh! So all close. right. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Yeah, stay there. All right. I didn't know secretary I could reverse. <laughs> this is awesome. Ooh. Ooh. All right, one more. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh! Never 
mind. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas.